Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Giselle and I am so glad that you're here. In today's video, we are going to be doing a sinking funds update for the month of February. So if that's something you're interested in, then keep on watching. So before we get into the update, I'm just going to go over today's daily affirmation, which is that I graciously give myself the space to grieve unmet expectations. And I also make room to be overwhelmed by well-deserved blessings in life. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started with our update. So let me fill in these categories. Okay, so first we have car maintenance, which had a starting balance of $100. And we are ending the month with $168. So we have added $68 this month to car maintenance. So we have gifts, which had a starting balance of $83. So on the 30th, we have $83. Then I spent, um, I purchased a gift for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day and then I got a couple cards for Valentine's Day as well. So we are ending the month with $126. So this month we added $43 to gifts. And then next we have health. And our starting balance for health was $44. And we did not spend anything in the month of February for health, so we are ending the month with $149. So that means we were able to add $105 this month to our health sinking fund. And then next, we have home and we started the month with $142 in home and I had my first major home repair this month. I had to replace my water heater so um, the $73 was for a plumber to come out and then I purchased um, some home decor from Etsy. And then also in the month of February, I purchased an onion chopper and I only had to pay $7.57 thanks to you guys using my Fetch Rewards code that is always linked in the description box below. Fetch Rewards is a app um, where you just literally scan your receipts every time you make a purchase and you'll get points every time you scan a receipt that you can in turn um, cash in for gift cards. So I was able to cash in for a $25 gift card from Amazon. And so our ending balance in home was $165. So we were able to add $23 this month. And then finally in travel, we started the month with $198. And we spent, this $135 was a deposit for a trip I am taking this summer. And that was our only expense this month. So we are ending the month with $228 in travel. So we were able to add $30 to our travel sinking fund. So that is all of our sinking funds. Um, I also like to add my savings categories to the sinking funds update as well. So in my raw. I started the month with 
and I have not added anything just yet to my Roth. Um, I want to wait closer to April so I can kind of see exactly how much I've saved so I can make that transfer then. So we have not added anything. And then my buffer, which is what I keep in my Cube Money Cloud. We started the month with a thousand. And that is still a thousand. So there's no change there. I want to just keep this at a thousand, but I also want to account for it in our sinking funds and savings update. So that's why I keep including that. And then for finally for our savings. We started the month with $1,350 and our ending balance was $2,050. So we were able to add $700 to our savings. So I'm going to move this iPad out the way and grab the calculator and we'll go ahead and total everything up. So for our starting balance, we will So for our starting balance, we have a total of $3,317. Add up the ending balance. So for our ending balance, we have a total of four thousand two hundred and eighty six dollars, which is crazy it's crazy that I've had it's crazy that I can save up that much on the income that I'm working with so I'm super excited about that so to get our total amount saved we're going to take our ending balance and subtract our starting balance and we have saved a total of $969 in the month of February so I cannot complain about that at all especially since we were not able to add to our sinking funds from this last check. So now that we have all of our totals, I'll go ahead and grab our tracker so we can update those as well. All of these savings trackers and challenges are available in my Etsy shop, which is always linked down below. I am running a sale for the month of March, so if you see any printables that you like, please, please, please go support. It means so much to me, um, and I really appreciate it. 
so that is everything for this video um, i'm still doing the youtube challenge to where every like and comment is a dollar towards my debt um, if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down below um, let me know how much you were able to save this month in your sinking funds i love to i love to see everyone's progress this is such a great community so supportive so encouraging so i'm thankful for all your kind words um, and with all that being said we will see you in the next video bye